Hello everybody, this is a quick video with uh, my friend John. John is uh, in his late 80s. Uh, he has been in the Philippines since like the 1960s. He's been in the house he's in now for 14 years. And he's going to show us a little bit about what he has for breakfast. I thought this is interesting because John, like I said, in his late 80s, I'll see him miles from his house out walking. He doesn't use a cane. He's never been in the hospital and doesn't take any kind of medication. Never had heart issues. I mean, he's spry and his mind is crystal clear and he's just in great shape. So I thought, well, maybe you'd like to see how a guy gets to be in his late 80s and is in great physical shape. And you can see what uh, John eats and also he's going to show us around a little bit about his house, his collection of things. He's uh, a bit of a hoarder. He's got uh, antiques and art and he's got uh, a lot of interesting things. He's got even more stuff stored in a storage unit on another island. but. He's an interesting character. I like John, so enjoy the video, and, uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. From the Ayurvedic, yeah. this goes back thousands this is, of years. This is why John is so healthy at his age. Look at this. This is his breakfast. This is bitter melon. Bitter melon, yeah. Bitter, now, let me show you this. Here's a bitter melon in its infancy. Yeah. Now, this is a bitter melon. Now, when yeah. you eat these, they grow large, mm -hmm. and it's very good, Mark. You mm. see that? Yeah. Now, that there's the bitter melon. This is squash mm. over here with all the seeds. I don't throw these seeds away, Mark. Mm. You see? Yeah. And then these are carrots, mm. and then this is malungai. Oh, wow. Well. all over the world, uh, Southeast Asia, Europe. Have you been eating this your whole life? Uh, no, then not all my life because I was on the Coca-Cola diet. Uh, Mom, apple pie, and oh, Coca-Cola yeah. for many, many years. Hmm. But the squash is mainly very important. Mark. Do you grow it here, or you buy it? The market. Well, I get it here at the little market. Yeah, the market. Yes, he's and right down the road from the market. Yeah, this is the Malungai. You see hmm. that? I'm going to give you some of that today. Mark. Okay. <laughs> have it outside. Maybe you will throw it away when you leave here. But and then this is the last thing. I take one of these. This is ashwagandha. 3,000 oh. years the Indians have been using it. For Never them. heard of that. It's a it's a herb. It comes out of a bush. Huh. Uh, ashwagandha. I'll have to try it's that very sometime. Very good for rejuvenation and many, many good things. You buy that online? For sexual impotency. No, I got this in Singapore, but you can get it online. Okay. You must and have bought I, a lot of it. And then I eat this too. When once in a while I take this, Mark. Mm. This is called asparagus. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see asparagus? Yeah, I know where to buy that by, by Casserora. You get that up by Ricky's place. Yeah, yeah, Ricky's That's place. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now this is the, the and then the other thing. Let me let me put you on to this. This here, Rick, is uh, uh, Mark. Is uh, this is a lemongrass? I throw that in. You yeah. See the lemongrass? Yeah. Then the other thing that we we're, we're going to talk about today is this. You haven't seen it. This is the bark of the uh, of the guayabani tree. Oh. This tree. I had a few limbs. I took down. And I strip the bark. It's very good for cancer and all other things. It's mm. very highly rated for cancer. The mm. leaves they drink as a tea, but the bark is more cancer preventive than the others. It kills the virus, the cancer virus. It mm. inhibits it greatly. I'm not a doctor mm. Mm. of science, but I'm a doctor of humanity. But mm. this is the bark of the guayabani tree, and you make a tea out of this bark. You drink the tea. You hmm. see the bark? Yeah. This bark is very nutritional and has a lot of health benefits to it. And then the other thing that I want to show you too, Mark, is this. This here, you go down to the market downtown and uh, you don't want to buy McCormick, you know, the McCormick uh, spices and all. Yeah. You buy this here, Mark. You see what this is? This is uh, stick uh, Stick cinnamon. Oh, yeah, yeah. These sticks are, yeah, we all know that, but we don't use it. We buy the powder, but the powder mark has chemicals and preservatives in mm. it that McCormick and all these companies add to it, which is very cancerous and very bad. Mm. So just buy the stick cinnamon, and then you get an old uh, cheese grater, and you just grate it. I've got a one of those. Full of that, yeah. And you get that into your, your uh, this is bitter melon, the tops of the bitter melon. Mm hmm. And how do you call it in Filipino? Bitter melon is called... Bitter melon? Yeah, the, the Tagalog, the Filipino name, they know it. The Visayan don't know it, the Tagalog eat it more, but they know they know the name. She doesn't eat it, apparently. No, so guess she's not. not. She's not onto this, but you have to get into this. Mm. This is called... Uh, I'll get the name from her inside. Mm. And the squash and this, so you sprinkle that, one spoonful of this 
into your squash, carrots, malungi, which you can get from the, mm -hmm. from the market, the leaves of the malungi plant, you mm -hmm. strip them, and then you take an ashwagandha, uh, one of these little capsules that's mm -hmm. been around for 3,000 years, it's a bush, a plant out of India, there's a mm -hmm. picture of it there, you can get it in the health food store, and then you get your carrot tops, and then you don't throw them away, you grow them in the garden, Mark, so they can sprout out right, there. Yeah. And you got your organic carrots. Mm. So then you take a little piece of pineapple and you eat your pineapple, Mark. The pineapple is good with the papain. Yeah, Jen loves pineapple. We bought some yesterday. You gotta get that into your health, Mark. Because if you're not if you're not getting this into your diet, you're you're becoming very uh, you're losing it. You've got to mm. have the bark, the cinnamon bark, you gotta have the papaya, mm. you gotta have the asparagus. All of this, well, the asparagus, I'm not going to, If it, I know a lot of it is raised with chemicals. That's why I eat it once in a while, mm. and it's like 500 pesos a kilo. So mm. It's not the price. It's that everything, to, the Philippines is one of the highest pesticides countries in the world. I didn't know that. They have no restrictions. They just bring it in from all over. They dump it here from Germany, America, blah, blah, blah. Big mm. pharma dumps it, the mm. pharmaceuticals. But you've got to watch. These are the native foods. The bitter melon, mm. it's not achitapa, it's called uh, ampalaya. The ampalaya. Yeah, ampalaya, I never heard um, of. Ampalaya. Yeah. The tops of the ampalaya. And mm. I showed you this here, Mark. Mm. This is very nutritious. This mm. is like a little cucumber. You mm. see, I'm going to show it to you how you do it. You mm. just got... <laughs> it's bitter as hell, Mark, but it's going to help your liver. Mm. So this is your breakfast every day, pretty much? I try to follow this routine, Mark, because, mm. because we came from the Coca-Cola diet, you understand? I do. And Sugar, like that. dessert for breakfast. I'm sorry? They had dessert for breakfast dessert in America, you know, breakfast. pancakes and so French toast and all did that. you see now what I showed you? Yeah. Carrots, squash, malungai, bitter melon. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can take an ashwagandha capsule. And then you drink a lot of spring water. Yeah, we do that too. And watch the bottles because the bottles have, read the BBS on the back because yeah. it's leeches into the plastic leeches. As soon as I leave this in the sun, you're drinking cancer. Hmm. It goes all through your organs and all because it dissolves into the water, the plastic uh, disintegrates. Okay. So yeah. get a bottle that has no, and watch your, yeah. your markings on it, PB or whatever yeah. it is, get your ratings yeah. on it. Uh, that leech free. Hmm. Now what do you think about the water coming off the mountain here? You know the people up by Forest Camp, they get the big bottles of water there from at spring. You think that's that's drinkable or? I do. I did it when I had no water sometime when I moved here 15 years ago. Hmm. There was no water. So what I happened then, what happened then, I went up there and I was drawing my water from there until I met a Canadian uh, hydro engineer in water. Mm -hmm. And he said, John, he says, uh, I've I'm, I'm been in water all my life. He said, water's a very, very uh, uh, misunderstood thing. It could be good, it could be pure, if it's not around a lot of uh, community uh, settlements, because then it spreads out underneath the ground, right. all the impurities and the feces and the, and the yeah. whatever, blah, blah, blah. Up there, it's probably good. However, I did use one water company. I don't want to mention the name. Up there, they get their water from there, and they're known in this area. And when I told the man who's a European, he says, well, I took it to Europe, and I had it assayed, and it's very good. I doubted him because he's getting his water from an open-source spring way up in the mountain. That doesn't prevent any rodent or anything from dropping anything yeah. into an open. And that spring draws through pipes right into his house down below a few blocks down, hmm. these big plastic pipes, and then he bottles that and sells that. However, I don't uh, prescribe that because I had family here, this is years back, and three or four of them got sick with amoebic dysentery, two had to go to Silliman Hospital, the hospital here, hmm. and uh, I didn't get sick, but they got sick, and we were all drinking that water at the time. When I cut that out, and then I, I ordered from the biggest company here, this Nature Spring. Uh, we didn't get sick anymore, but I don't really believe in this too because it's in a bottle. It could be exposed. Yeah. And then I drink alkaline water here. 
the pH on this is higher. You got a pH of nine, so you're getting the uh, the alkaline water, which is good. But I really prescribe the best water is in a glass bottle. You see? Yeah. See glass. Glass is the best because it's the sun right. can come on it. There's no leaching and all. Mm. So glass is your best water. Glass mm. bottle yeah, water. Yeah, I believe that too. And that, if you can get it, get it. But it's very hard to get. Mm. And uh, like this here, Mark, you can get this in the supermarket here. And it's called Summit Drinking Water in a Glass Bottle. It's a big company here in the mm. Philippines. However, this water, I don't know the source of it. It's not a spring water. Mm. See, and I trust. Good spring water if it's from a good secured source. Mm. So I don't know. If, this is in a glass bottle. They make a, a gas water and they make flat water. So you mm. can get the. Uh, you have to try it out. Yeah, you can try that. It's called oh. Summit. You buy that in the mm. supermarket. And then your tomatoes, you eat that, but 99% of them, they're loaded with pesticides. Oh, if you go to the market and you look for tomatoes, you want to look for these here, Mark. You see those little spots yeah. on them? Yeah. And I always say, I says, give me your rotten, your worst tomatoes you got, like this. Because then you know that the pesticides were not that plentiful. Oh. When you get the beautiful, nice round ones in red and perfect, Mark, mm -hmm. they're loaded with poison. Mm. You understand? So oh, those those were grown here, right? Yeah, Locally. these are local tomatoes. So get them with the uh, with all the imperfections in there. They're mm. the best, the ones that no one gets, and you get them three times cheaper. Mm. And then remember your bark from the guayabani tree, mm. which is anti-cancer. That's known. You can pull that up on anything YouTube. Mm. What guayabani does? The leaves they sell that mm. in teas and cultures. Mm. And uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you. You get your bananas, Mark. You get them like this. These are special little bananas. Yeah, I've very, tried those. They're good. Very sweet. Now, these are called senorita, I believe. And they're mm -hmm. very small. And I'm going to give you one here. Mm -hmm. And your lady friend, your lovely lady friend, can take one. Mm -hmm. And this is one for Mark. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take one for my potassium. I try to get this with a daily potassium one. Also, magnesium, too, right? Yeah. I'm sorry? Magnesium, too, I Your think. Your magnesium, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're good. So now you've got a little bit on my breakfast. And we're getting ready. Then the last thing is this this, this grass. Mm -hmm. Now, this grass, your lady friend will not know. The young people don't know about this. Mm -hmm. uh, you get this, pick it up there in the woods, mountains, and all where there's no. Uh, a thesis or mm. urine on it. Near mm. the river, don't mm. get it because all the animals yeah. are down there. But get it in open fields away from people, and then you boil this for about 15 minutes, shut the water off, let it sit till it cools down a bit, and then you bottle it, and you drink it. It's one of the most wonderful things for your joints, your arthritic uh, condition. Your wow. Health. And this is very good. It's called, I'm sure she will not know, but Perillid. Bin, bin, bini, bini, I'll get the name, Bimina, I think. So mm. that's wonderful grass, and this is a little dried out. And out front, I'm going to give you the uh, the Molungai branches later, so okay. don't throw them away, Mark. Okay, right, I won't. And uh, we're going to go inside now, and we're going to do a... Uh, we're going to do a... Uh, on the... Uh,